The weekly took a week off. Your boy's back bringing you that week sauce. And that's what y'all been saying, right? Y'all out here acting like you know what's tight. <laughs> but get real quiet when you're confronted. I'm just trying to ask you a question, but you don't want it. This is about building community. I'm not into this hating tomfoolery. This is for the love of hip hop and always will be. But for now, it's the Barf Bar Weekly. It's the Barf Bar Weekly for the week of April 30th, 2021. There's a bit of news to get into because I didn't have a weekly last week, so we'll get right into it. But first things first, if you are new to the channel, hi, welcome. This is the Barf Bar Weekly where I basically just kind of run through some of the news that happened in hip hop and whatever is relevant to hip hop and stuff that needs to be talked about. I don't get too in-depth into any of these topics. That's typically left for the podcast, which drops Mondays. First things first, as far as news goes, like I said, this is from two weeks, so there's a little bit more to go into. But last week, like the week prior, we had suffered a few more losses in the hip hop community. So both Black Rob and Shock G had passed away late last week. Rest in peace to them and condolences to their family and loved ones. You'll be greatly missed. Moving on from that, Lil Sims had announced that her next album is coming soon, titled Sometimes I Might Be Introvert. It should be dropping on September 3rd, 2021. So it's a bit of a ways away, but to kind of hold us over in the meantime, at least she dropped the track Introvert. The track itself is really dope and probably has one of my favorite videos so far this year. So definitely check that out if you haven't. I also did a breakdown for it if you're interested. So that's going to be somewhere. <laughs> Other than that, it was also announced last week that Dave Chappelle is going to be hosting a new podcast with Yasin Bey and Talib Kweli of Blackstar. There's not really word on what the podcast is going to be about, it's like specifically. It's going to be kind of one of those more lifestyle sort of podcasts, I feel. But it's going to be interesting because they're all really close friends already. So I, I just imagine it's going to be a fun time. As of now, I think they're saying that it's only going to be available via Luminary and Apple's paid podcast subscriptions. So I guess you got to subscribe if you really want to listen to it. Hopefully they do something where they release it later on to the general public, but we'll have to wait and see. Who knows? In other news, all last year, we got the Year of Mac from Donna Claire of DJ Booth, basically where she would write, I think it was every week, an article related to Mac Miller. Well, this week, there's a follow-up announcement. This follow-up is going to be the Book of Mac. And it's going to be releasing on October 26th, 2021. So not too far away. It's available for pre-order on Amazon right now. So if you are at all interested or if you enjoyed the Year of Mac series that she did, definitely worth a pre-order or purchase. I know I'm going to get into that one because Mac Miller is just one of those artists that has so many people that wanted to talk about him and so many people that loved him. And seeing as this book is going to contain a lot of interviews from people who were around him. It's going to be interesting, I'm sure. It was announced this week that Makami's next project, Pray for Haiti, will be dropping on May 18th. So in what, two, three weeks now? Yeah, three weeks. And it's going to be fully executive produced by Westside Gun. It's actually really great to see that they've put aside their differences to come together to work on something like this. And it's also interesting to note that with this announcement and with the Easter Guns Day track that we got a couple of weeks ago, I think we've kind of confirmed that Hitler Wears Hermes 8 should be dropping sometime soon. I think he said on the track, and after Hitler 8, or Hitler Wears Hermes 8, pray for Haiti, it will drop. So, may, I mean, we got, we got three weeks in, until then, so who knows? <laughs> maybe he'll drop it, maybe he won't. He's been teasing it for a while, though, so hopefully it's soon. Literally today, or late last night, I guess, Baby Keem announced that his next project will be titled The Melodic Blue. And I feel like I've heard this name before somewhere. I don't really know where, though. It just, it's a familiar name. It actually might be the name of a song, now that I think about it. In any case, we don't know when it's going to be released. 
but I can assume that it'll release soon just based off of the fact that Keen's been releasing a bunch of singles with the latest one being Do-Rag Activity featuring Travis Scott. And this week's biggest bit of news comes via a tweet from Top Doc that said, The wait is over! Hashtag TD, along with the date of May 7th, 2021. Immediately, like l- the second that that tweet came out, everyone assumed it was Kendrick. And who knows, it might be. We don't have any confirmation yet. But seeing as that like, pretty much everyone in TD has been in the studio recently, it's kind of a toss-up. It could really be anyone. But we'll have to wait and see. I mean, it's just a week away. There are also additional signs pointing towards it being Isaiah Rashad, which would make sense. But again, we'll have to wait and see. I'll get more into this on Monday's podcast, though. And that's all I got for news. Now all that's left is to... Talk about notable releases over the past couple weeks, because again, didn't do a weekly last week. So we got Snoop Dogg, From the Streets to the Sweets, Lil Yachty, Michigan Boat Boy, Crisis, The Hour of Crisis, dope album, check out my review of that, I dropped it earlier this week. Moray dropped Street Sermons, Shelly, formerly known as Dram, dropped the self-titled album, Shelly, formerly known as Dram. Black Soprano Family and Trust Army dropped Trust the Sopranos. Locksmith dropped Lock Sessions V2, Flylo dropped Yasuke, the soundtrack or album inspired by the anime, AG Club dropped Fuck Your Expectations Part 2, The Alchemist dropped This Thing of Ours, and DJ Khaled dropped Khaled Khaled. That's all I got for y'all this week. Let me know in the comments below if I missed anything newsworthy or any albums that I should check out that I haven't mentioned. Also, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more content and weeklies like this. Thank you for watching and please stay safe out there.